from toleratedcinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create this awesome origami paper unfolding technique in Adobe After Effects, just like this. Alright, so that looks pretty awesome. For those that do not wish to follow this tutorial or you want to support our YouTube channel, you can buy the template with the link in the description. And for those that do want to know how this is done, let's fire up Adobe After Effects and get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and let's take a look on how to create this low poly lower thirds effect. So let's create a new composition right here. I will rename this to main comp, make it full HD. So that's 1920 by 1080. And then I'm going to choose a frame rate of 24. That's completely up to you. Uh, so pick your preference. And then 10 seconds long seems about right. And I will click OK. There we go. And what I want to do now is actually create a new shape. So I'm going to the shape tool right here, hold my left mouse button. And right here you have the polygon tool. If you drag right here, you can actually toggle with the arrow ups and down. Uh, you can choose how many points you actually want. So we only want three points um, as we're going to work with a triangle right here. So if you hold shift, it's going to snap and it's going to make a perfect straight um, triangle. So we want a triangle like this. And also if you hold space while doing this, you can actually move it around while you are still creating it. So that's also a uh, cool tip. Okay, so right here I'm going to position it and let's release it. There we have it. We have our shape. And now what we want to do is toggle the switches or press F4 on the keyboard. And we want to make this a 3D layer as we're going to unfold it. Now we're going to uh, pick our pen behind tool. So to move our anchor point, currently our anchor point is right here. We want it to be in, on one of the corners of our triangle. If you drag it around, um, what we actually want essentially is we don't want this to be right here. The reason why is because what, neither one of these lines is actually following along with one of the lines of the triangle. So what you can do is position it right here or here because we then have it in the length of the X value uh, right here of the X arrow. Uh, so this is what we want. We want to position it one uh, on the left corner right here or, or on the right corner right here. So what I will do is hold control on my keyboard uh, for Mac users that will be uh, command and you can drag it around right here and it will snap uh, to one of these corners. I will position this right here and I will release it. So it's going to snap um, once you know it's in the good position, you can release and then we can actually start animating. So we have our first layer right here. So click on that layer. Uh, we can actually close it for now and duplicate that layer like so. Then press R on the keyboard and you're going to see orientation and all your different rotations right here. What you want to do is actually play with the Z value of the orientation. So right here we want to set this at 60 and then we're going to animate our Y rotation, right, uh, our X rotation, I'm sorry. So what I will do is click on my X rotation, set it at minus 180 and that's going to actually um, rotate it one half around so it's going now it's right behind uh, the first polygon so i clicked on the stopwatch we have a keyframe right here move one second forward and zero this out so now we have this kind of animation what we also want to do is combine this shape with the first shape and that way it's going to unfold from that shape whatever this shape is doing for example if i go to my first shape and i would rotate it pressing R on the keyboard and rotating it, uh, rotating it this way, you will see that it's actually following along. So it's now a part of this shape. And what we want to do here is also animate our X rotation. So animate it like this, for example, and then like right here, we want to zero this out. So now we have this kind of animation. Okay, it looks pretty cool. Uh, we're going to click on our first or, or actually our second layer that we created right here and also hold control and press D or go to edit duplicate and uh, we're going to animate it a little bit more so um, we're going to press R on the keyboard and actually move it 120 and now we have this line still uh, so it's also very important to keep this line 
the line that we're going to rotate on one of the sides of the polygon that it's attached to. So in this case, this is perfect. And we're going to again parent this to the second layer now. So we actually wanted to um, each time we duplicate one layer, we need to parent it with the layer below it. So the layer that it's actually unfolding from. If we're going to check, uh, you'll see that everything is still working fine. So that's great. Uh, you can also change the rotation so maybe this one should be from 180 and now it's going to come from the other side so it's going to unfold like this like a, like a, yeah like this <laughs> okay so what you want to do now is duplicate it once more and now is uh, a different part so what you should do is press press R on the keyboard and maybe zero this out and now you should move your shape to this position so press V on the keyboard or pick your selection tool right here and actually drag it around using while well, holding control again and it's going to snap against to the um, to the side of the other polygon so now we know it's still in the perfect uh, position and then we're going to parent it with the layer below and now we have this right here Okay, we can actually set this one to minus 180 and it's going to look a little bit better, I suppose. Uh, so let's take a look. All right, so this looks pretty cool. Duplicate it once more, press R on the keyboard and now we want to move it to zero. So uh, we have it like this and again, go to the beginning and set this to 180. And also parent it to this layer. And actually, I parented when it wasn't, uh, well, when it's still an animation and you parent something, uh, you can have some mistakes. So go when the animation is complete and then just combine it right here. And now you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, so this looks great. Uh, we can continue our animation. So again, what I will do is press R on the keyboard, zero this out and press V on the keyboard, hold control while dragging. So actually, well, click on it first, drag it around and hold control and then it will snap. So just hold your control after your, you started dragging around with your shape. Um, then go back to the beginning, set this to minus 180 and also combine it with layer 05 and there we have it. Okay. It's actually doing something different now. Okay. And there we go. Duplicate it again, press R on the keyboard, set it to zero and go to the beginning, set this to positive 180, go when it's complete and combine it, well parent it to layer 6. We'll do one more. Snap into position. And there we go. Minus 180. And parent it to this object. Okay, so now we have the complete unfolding effect right here. We also want to add some unfolds to the top. So what you can do here is click on this layer, search it right here in your timeline, well actually in your layers, and duplicate it right here. And now what you can do is move this one up and actually rotate it to zero. So we have it like this and make it snap. And there we go. So it's snapped into position. And actually um, we need to make sure that it's unfolded like to 40. Okay, so we have it on this side. So the X is actually unfolding like this and I forgot to do that. Um, but right here we almost have it in position. This seems about right. Maybe a little bit more to the left. Okay. And now we have this layer and we need to parent it to the layer below, which is this layer so make sure it's on the same layer that it's unfolding from and now we can see for the animation it's coming from behind all right so this looks great and then we can click for example on this one search it duplicate it parent it to this one and rotate it to 60.
and there we have this animation. All right, so everything looks great. Uh, we have a pretty cool effect right now and we can hold control, press A on the keyboard so it selects each shape and then toggle one of these arrows and then we have it nice packed up like so. And now we have a pretty good result. You can keep on doing this as many times as you want and then select all of them. You can reposition them if you want to right here. Uh, but, as, but as you can see, currently it doesn't look very special uh, because it's very flat, we don't have any shadows. Uh, to do that, right click new and add a new light. We're going to create a point light and I will set the intensity at 100, OK, and click OK. And now you can move around with your light, put, put it like right here, uh, maybe zoom out a little bit. And if you're going to see the animation, you will see that now you have some really cool shadows. And of course you can reposition your light to get different kind of shadows so you can get some really interesting results like so. And this looks pretty cool. You can click on the shape layers, press R on the keyboard or actually I'm going to press U on the keyboard so you see all of your um, keyframes right here and I will select all of my keyframes like so. So just drag and select all of them. Right click keyframe assistance and select easy ease and if you go to the graph editor you will see that it's going to be uh, a little bit smoother animation. We actually wanted to edit in the edit speed graph so if you don't have that click on this icon and you will see edit speed graph or edit value graph and change it to speed graph. Select the last points right here make sure that they are still all selected and then we're going to drag this in like so. Now we're going to get a very smooth animation like so. Okay, so looks cool, uh, but currently all the layers animate at the exact same time. So we actually want to offset this. I'm going to do it manually. You have um, actually scripts that do it automatically, um, but for yeah, we don't have that many layers, so we can actually do it manually. So I'm going to press the page down key, and that's going to add one frame to my timeline. So page down moves one frame forward. You can also click on this icon right here, next frame, and that's going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to press it three times, one, two, three. So now we are three frames into time and I'm going to select all my layers above the first one, offset it right here, or actually we just select this one. We'll do just fine. Okay, move three frames again and move this one and just keep doing that until all of these are offset. And there we have it. So now we have a nice unfolding effect like so. Now what I also did in the preview is adding text to my unfolding effect and it's actually unfolding together with my text. To do that I actually created a new composition, renamed this to title and right here I will create a new text layer. So uh, select your text tool and just click right here and then we can enter something like subscribe for more which uh, is what you should do. So uh, you can click right here and go to the Align tab right here. If you don't see that, go to Window Align and you can click on these two icons. It's going to center out your text. So this is just uh, for easier, uh, well, it doesn't really matter that much, but we have our text right here in a new composition. Go back to your main composition where we did the other edit and drag our title in here. And now what we want to do actually is select all of our shape layers, go to Edit, duplicate. So now we have all of these um, separately. And what you want to do is actually uh, once you duplicate them there will still be selected so I'm going to undo this duplicate and keep it as it is right now and click on this eye so they're all invisible. I title all the way to the top press S on the keyboard and scale it uh, until it actually fits my animation and you can of course make it longer if you want to uh, but that's completely up to you. Okay so I'm going to keep my text right here I will drag it back to the bottom above my first layer close this and toggle the switches if you don't see that um, but first we'll make a 3D layer out of it like so toggle the switches and now we actually want to parent this to our first shape and also in the track mat we want to select alpha mat. What that is going to do it's going to look at the shape above it and it's only going to display that part of the text. So what you can do now is duplicate your text, put it on top right again. So every time uh, just put it on top of the layer that is still visible, so on each of these, and then just select parent it to the layer below it. And do that for all of the layers. So each time I'm duplicating using Ctrl D. 
and there we have it so everything should be done and now if we're going to see the animation we can actually see that our text is following along with the 3d animation which is really cool and the reason why we actually made it in a new composition is because if we open this composition now and we change the text to well actually we don't need to make a new one uh, change the text to something else we can go to main comp and there we go we have the text changed um, but it's still going to follow along with our animation so pretty cool effect uh, that's basically it so um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more of course and then I see you in the next one goodbye